Hi Virgo, welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So I decided to bring this series back, Virgo. Um, this series is coming back along with the spirit messages. I did have a poll up on my community section of my channel, which I asked viewers to participate in and vote for which readings you would like to see more of or like to see come back. And Spirit Messages and Singles was part of one of the selections that was voted back. So I hope you like this. And uh, please leave me some feedback, comments on what you think. And I'll be doing them for a, a while and see how they go. And uh, hopefully you like this. So Virgo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. I would say take where it, how it resonates for you, if that makes any sense. And I can also pick up on past, present, or future. So if you're like, gee, that situation was somebody I dealt with in the past, that could be the case also. So please do keep that in mind. So Virgo, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's staying safe during this time. Obviously, you know, people aren't dating right now uh, or anything like that. So this doesn't necessarily have to occur in the month of April. This could be, uh, you know, further down the road. A lot of the readings so far have been giving me timelines of like spring, um, summer into fall. So depending on how long this um, <clears throat> quarantine lasts, you know, I don't see anybody dating in the near future till probably spring or, um, I'm sorry, summer or fall. So, all right. So what I'm going to do here, Virgo, is with this energy deck, I'm going to pull one card of what their energy is like or what energy they're in right now. Or this person could be in that you either meet or come upon or date or whatever in the future. What is their spirit energy like? So this energy could be, um, you know, their, their being, you know, their energy or something affecting them or that, they're, or that they've gone through or something like that. So whatever comes out here. And then their spirit energy, what is their spirit, their personality kind of like? And then I got the love oracle here. So what is their love energy like? And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at um, like where and when, well, where and how you could probably meet this person. And then we'll get a time frame of like probably when you can meet this person and then what the connection would be like. So we'll use the tarot, uh, tarot to clarify all that energy. So everything you need to know, Virgo, is down in the description box below as well, the pin, as well as the first pin top comment, decks I'm using, links to buy them uh, if you wish to social media links, uh, if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, um, your playlists are below, love in general. If you'd like to go back, I consider my readings timeless. And if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that's info is also below. And if you're not comfortable exchanging energy or donating through PayPal, or you don't have a PayPal account, uh, during the premiere only um, of my readings, Super Chat is open and available for energy exchanges, tips, or donations if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. All right, so Virgo. What is the energy for Virgo singles? New love coming in. What is the energy of this person? Oh, I only want one. So let's see what this one is. So we have door to value 31 here, which is four, which is a very stable energy. I'm just curious what this one is. Woman holding a heart. So I'm going to take them both, even though I usually only take one. So it could be man or a woman. Wow. Holding a heart. And then we have double 44 and then we have four there. So this is a lot of someone who is very, very stable. They could make a lot of money. Um, they could love money, actually. <laughs> that, may, that may be their main focus in life is making money and being very successful. And uh, here, hmm, this person may love money more than anything else. So ooh, we'll see. Or... You know, they just really value themselves a lot here. Could be somebody here who isn't afraid to love, wears their heart openly on their sleeve. So a couple different messages there, but we have four, four, four. And that is all about foundation, stability, basis, which that equals 12. I think in the major arcana, what 12 is... Um, can't really think right now, but then that equals three, which I believe is the high priestess. All right, so, but three is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. But let's see. We're going to clarify all this energy with the tarot. So let's see what their spirit energy is in right now. What 
is there a spirit? Oh, I'm getting two for this reading. So you're getting extra cards this reading, uh, Virgo. So we have a child's love. The love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious deep connections we make during this time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our lives. And then we have forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the bit of is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness is in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. So this person could have children or they have a very childlike nature about them. But we have a forgiving energy here. So this person could be somebody who is a very forgiving kind of energy. They could have a childlike energy about them if they don't have children, but they could have children. They may not tell you that right away. They may be afraid to tell you that they have children. And then maybe if you find out later down the road, they may ask for your forgiveness that they didn't tell you or were totally upfront with you either <clears throat> so you know the woman holding a heart or a man doesn't matter um i'm getting like a you know a parental figure so they could be somebody who is a parent was very loving caring nurturing and giving and maybe that's why they have the value here is like they value their family they could be a single parent obviously this is for singles um they have a lot of value in their children you know, they want to make sure they can provide for them efficiently also. So we'll see different messages there. So, all right. So what is this person's love energy like for you, Virgo? What is this person's love energy like for Virgo? The single new love coming in for Virgo. What is this person's? energy like okay we got one card from here okay we have attachment letting go restriction and fear but it was reversed and i don't usually do reversals in uh oracle decks but and we have eight is in a number of um walking away it's also you know a number of movement travel communication but in reverse i feel like here um i think they're not afraid to let things go that don't serve them they could be afraid of attachment too like getting too attached <coughs> Like having that fear. I feel like too they could be someone that doesn't like to be restricted or too attached or have like their freedom taken away from them of some kind. Or they're not afraid to be attached, you know, physically to someone either. So let's see. Let's clarify these energies. You Virgo. So I got different messages there. So all right, so, so it's just funny here that this is 44, and over here we have 8. So, all right. Or they could have let go of something uh, from the past that wasn't serving them. All right, so what is this energy about for well, Virgo Seals? So we have death here. So that's about ending, letting things come to an end. Something's over and done. End of something here. And then there's healing, transformation, and new beginnings. And I had felt that. So maybe, you know, they were in my cards upside down. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I think I got reversals in here. All right. What's going on here? Don't usually put reversals in if they come out reversed then all right so we have the ace of wands in reverse yeah i feel like <laughs> wherever whatever situation they were in before uh there wasn't any more passion 
it might not have been any more love or whatever here so it something ended here you know healing transforming and then moving on is kind of what i feel knowing they're you know maybe they you know did truly love this person before you know but now they know like daughter value they know your, their value and worth so let's see what else here for Virgo, this person's energy. So we have the high priestess and the sun in reverse. So I feel like, you know, the high priestess is someone who's very intuitive, who knows a lot, but doesn't say much. And then we have the sun, which in reverse is, you know, a delay in happiness or uh let's see what's going on here i must have dropped a clump that went in reverse okay i only take reversals if they fall reversed and i pick it up it's reverse and spirit tells me it's meant to be reversed i don't put intentional reversals in because i feel like spirit will give me the reversals that are needed so i feel like you know the sun in reverse here, and it could be about children. You know, the sun you see in a regular tarot deck usually has a child on it. So I feel even though they were they were unhappy in whatever situation they were in, there was no more happiness, joy, there was no more success, no more growth, expansion, whatever here. They intuitively know, knew that. No more passion, you know, knew it was coming to an end, but I feel like they might have may have kept it a secret from their children and not told them right away till like the very end and then you know you see like the parent they're asking for forgiveness of the child you know about this whole situation or just asking you know ch the children or the child for forgiveness because of this ending all right so what else here for virgo and this person and this energy they could have one or two children because I see a child here and a child here. They could have a boy and a girl, girl, um, or either or. What else for Virgo? Five of Cups. She has sadness, loss, hurt. So a lot of sadness endings for them. <laughs> no more love, passion, success, and victory. So they just come out of something here. A long-term relationship where children was involved or a marriage but I feel like they didn't tell many people, not even their own children, as this ending was happening until it was probably complete. And then there was a lot of hurt and sadness and loss, not only for them, but also the children here. Yeah, the ta attachment in reverse. They let go of something they were attached to. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let's see how... How, and they may not even be looking for something new or a new relationship or a new love. This may happen accidentally that uh, you two kind of run into each other or something. So let's see how and where you could meet this person, Virgo. And they may also may be afraid to tell you about their past, that they have children, you know, and all that, like right away. For Virgo, not necessarily that they'll lie, they'll probably just won't tell you, afraid that it may scare you off, or maybe they don't know you well enough yet, or if you're just dating, or just talking as friends. Yeah, the devil. Okay, so this is and strength. Wow, so strength always overcomes the devil. All right, so this is uh, like how and where you can meet this person. Let's get a few more and we'll put it all together. So we have the two of wands here being at a crossroads and then making plans and decisions and then choosing a plan, uh, a cross, choosing a road, choosing a path, and then making plans and decisions. You see two people making plans and de decisions for the future. All right, so let's get one more, one more. And then the two of pentacles. So we got two twos here, which is about unity. Again, though, the two of pentacles is about juggling things around, um, ideas, thoughts, responsibilities, finances. 
So I feel like you actually may, um, maybe you'll meet them like on a uh, social group, like maybe a Facebook group, support group, or something like that. I mean, the devil here could be, you know, maybe there's support groups out there for some sort of, you know, toxic or negative behavior or, I don't know, something like that. Some, maybe something they've had to deal with in the past with the past person. Maybe they drank, maybe they um, had an addiction <coughs> or something like that. And maybe, you know, they're in support groups on Facebook, social media groups, and maybe you're, maybe you went through something similar you know, it could be with a, a friend or a family member or something like that. Or maybe you overcame something also. Because the strength here is overcoming this energy. So I'm thinking maybe on Facebook, social groups, media groups, um, or something like that. Right now it would have to be because of the social distancing. Because we have unity and we have trying to balance here, trying to choose a path, a plan for the future, and overcoming difficulty here. So that's, uh, that's how I feel you could meet them. Or it could be something outdoors. Um, also, maybe, you know, well, right now you wouldn't be bringing your child to the park, but um, working, you know, maybe you're out in your yard. With, uh, or maybe you see them, or maybe they will tell you they have children. Maybe you'll see them, you know, out in the yard with their children or something like that. They could even be a neighbor <laughs> that you didn't really know or a new neighbor. All right, so I'm not getting like online dating. I'm just getting like social groups, you know, online social groups and things like that. All right, so let's look at a timeline of when... For this person so we have the hierophant and we have the queen of cups so let's see for the court cards i'm looking at here so far we have water cancer scorpio pisces i'm just looking at court cards for signs so it's not so confusing so we have summertime here with um summertime here with the cup energy the Hierophant is Aries, but that Aries just went by, so let's see. One more. Right, we got two. So we have here the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands is spring, Swords is summer, I mean winter. It wouldn't be spring because we're all in quarantine right now. We see people being defensive. Ten of Swords, they might have went through this ending like this past winter time. Everyone's in isolation right now. Springtime, the Seven of Wands, probably, you know, defensive against everybody. I'm feeling like maybe in the summertime, you know, things get back to normal. If you go to church or you attend services, you know, the higher it can be about spirituality, faith, religion, that kind of energy. So if you attend some sort of um, church or something like that, or even, you know, maybe spiritual groups online, because the high priestess is very spiritual. They could be somebody who's spiritual. <clears throat> and maybe you meet them through, you know, a spiritual group on Facebook or something like that. Um, it could be this uh, summertime, I'm feeling. Or actually at like a church or somewhere where there's services or something, whatever you attend here. All right. So what kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection will this be for Virgo? Singles, new love, spirit, please. Thank you so much. What kind of connection will this be? Well, we have the King of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is Earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So that could be your energy or there could be a fellow father, father, uh, earth sign. So we got water and earth so far. But we have the Ten of Pentacles. So in the Hierophant can talk about commitment, long-term commitment and marriage. And now the Ten of Pentacles is that same energy. Lifetime um, commitment, marriage, 
sharing of assets, everything, you know, family legacy, family dynamic in every way. So this could be a very uh, slow growing, stable, grounded, long-term relationship here. It may build very slowly uh, to a long-term relationship here. So what else? What else? Or Virgo. Or oh, you're wanting that. You're sitting in the energy maybe of wanting that. So we do have the Eight of Cups energy here. So this could be an energy of walking away from something unfulfilling to something more fulfilling. So why is the Eight of Cups here? You know, you could tell this person, okay, this is what I want. This is your energy. I want a long-term commitment. I want to be married. I want to have kids. I want a lifelong partner. And this may actually scare them and they may walk away because we do have the attachment in uh, reverse there. So <clears throat> what else here for Virgo? Yeah, Four of Cups, which may leave you feeling like kind of disenchanted and melancholy about love in general now or are you sitting here wondering will they offer me this should i offer them this what else here for virgo virgo yeah manif manifesting a brand new beginning here so you're daydreaming about manifesting a brand new beginning with this person but they may walk away here because they may have fear of becoming attached Three of Pentacles, though, but that's an energy of, you know, wanting to work on it, teamwork, collaboration, working together. So let's pull a couple more. Let's pull a couple more. They may walk away for, for a time, which will leave you disenchanted, but then they may come back and say, okay, you know, let's work on this new beginning here, but I want to take it very, very slow and cautious. With the Three of Pentacles, a very slow, cautious uh, energy. Or it's telling you here to be slow and cautious with this person, not to scare them away. What else for Virgo? So, oh my God. <laughs> so we have the Lovers and the Four of Wands. And this is the commitment, the marriage. Could be a Twin Flame energy here, maybe. Uh, but soulmates here coming into union, lovers choosing soulmate union, choosing lover here. So yeah, they may walk away from a time for a time because it may get scared, but I think they'll come back and they'll say, okay, I want to do this, but I want to go very, very slow, cautious, take our time, not rush into it, into this brand new beginning. And then you have, you got marriage twice here, commitment, long-term, very uh, stable, foundation home life and soulmate union with the lovers here and you actually see the ceremony here so this could lead to marriage down the road wow so bottom of the deck here yeah ace of pentacles so there's a stable new beginning there's the offer here for long-term commitment long long-term life partner but you know i think they're going to be stuck in their head for a time here not sure but then finally they come through with the offer here with the Knight of Pentacles, more Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing, things going in a better direction, bringing in what's meant to be, and having equal reciprocity, balance, give and take here, <laughs> healing, faith, hope, optimism, which is dreams coming true, divinely guided energy between two, having uh, equal give and take, divine timing, things going in a better direction, finally coming in, with a solid grounded offer it's slow moving but it's coming after they get out of their mental trapment and mental blockages and offering a stable long-term beginning here virgo wow wow virgo okay <laughs> well i do see this has the potential to go all the way but very be very careful and cautious with this possible new person not to scare them away and if they do go away i think they're going to come back and finally offer a long-term Commitment. I think it's just all this they went through with a past person. I think this past person had a lot of dark energy um, and they had to overcome that. And they may even have custody of children if they have children here. And I think they're protecting themselves, their heart, and their children for the future for any from any new energies. They don't want to get stuck in this kind of energy they were in before. 
But once you prove to them that you're not their past person, that you don't have this dark energy, then they're going to come and manifest this new beginning with you. Virgo. Okay, Virgo, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I always say with my channel, always, always shine your light.